I'm McKinley Strada, and this is your 10 News Update. There are just a few days left to vote early, and it's an option people are taking advantage of in record high numbers. Virginians have requested more than 2 million absentee ballots, nearly 700,000 of those already back in. More than a million Virginians have voted early in person as well. Those numbers up more than 300 percent from the 2016 election. Virginia Beach can now move forward to honor the victims from last year's mass shooting. The city released the money needed to renovate the building where it all went down. Officials gave the green light to spend $30 million on several projects. Many of those were on hold because of the pandemic. The former municipal building will now house the police department headquarters. A police precinct could be opened by the spring of 2022. Nearly 10 million Americans have misused prescription drugs, this according to a 2018 survey. But the DEA, local law enforcement, health officials and more are trying to stop that with Drug Take Back Day. The annual event gives you an opportunity to turn in any unused or expired prescriptions. Those drugs will then go to a state facility to be properly disposed. This was the 10th year for Roanoke's Drug Take Back Partnership. In that time, they've collected more than 37,000 pounds. Of prescriptions. Here's a reminder that you can get updates anytime on the Go with the WSLS 10 News app and, of course, anytime over at WSLS.com. I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.